it's Mel here and welcome back to Mel's My Mind for the YouTube channel All About Blindness. Today is the weekday, it is the 7th of October and I am travelling to guide dogs to begin guide dog class with my new dog. So in this vlog I'm going to show you guys travelling down to guide dogs and my arrival at guide dogs. Unfortunately I'm not going to be able to record a lot of the, like my moving around stations and stuff with money because I've got two really pink bags with me so um, I have to use my cane as well so I probably won't record a lot of stuff moving around but I'll record as much as I possibly can so I'm currently sitting on the train at Kyneton station um, he's outside the train on the platform um, it's about 7 20 I reckon in the morning. I got up at about 6, 4 past 6, had breakfast, got dressed, got ready. A taxi came and picked me up at 10 past 7. This train leaves at 7.23 um, <coughs> and then we travel to Melbourne. It takes an hour and then we go from here to um, what's its name to Southern Cross and from Southern Cross I go to another train. Okay guys it's now like much later um, I have been on the train on the Kyneton train to um, Melbourne I changed trains in Melbourne. I'm now on the train out to Fairfield, which is a station close to Guide Dogs. Um, I navigated through our biggest train station here, Spencer Street or Southern Cross, um, with my cane and my bags. That was actually relatively easy, except the fact that I kept hitting angles with my cane because um, there was just so many people. It was probably about 20 minutes to 9 in the morning, so it was pretty crowded. So I'm on the train. I've just left Gillingham, which is the train station near the MCG, which is our big footy field. Um, you may be able to see. Oh, no, the window's too far away not to see. Um, but the MCG is just... We're going past it at the moment, so... Um, but you won't be able to see it because I'm not close enough to a window. So I'm going to be on this train for about another 15 minutes and then I'm meeting my instructor at Fairfield and we're going to drive to Guide Dogs which only takes about 5 minutes. I'm now at Fairfield Station. My instructor is just coming. He was on the wrong platform so I'm just waiting for him to come down the stairs and then we'll go out that direction somewhere and get in the car. But I'm very excited. Only about 10 minutes away from Guide Dogs. Okay, everyone, I'm in my room here at Guide Dogs now. I got here probably about 10 minutes ago, um, but they have a lady who's a cadet Guide Dog instructor. It's like her first um, time being a Guide Dog instructor on my class, and they asked her to use me to learn how to orientate a client to their room um, because I've been in this place a lot before um, I don't need orientation but they asked me to be sort of the guinea pig for that orientation session which I did gladly so I've just had a little orientation to my room uh, I'm got about 15 minutes and then the instructor is going to come back and we're going to do some orientation to the rest of the um, the rest of the building so I've just got about 15 minutes or so now I'm going to do some unpacking just putting a couple of things away that um, I want to put away and I'll do the rest later on so I'll show you my room so I'll link a tour that I did about a year ago now 
of Arnold Cook House in the description down below, but I'm in room 10. Um, here's the door out into the corridor. You've got the bedside table there. You've got the bed, which has got my backpack on it at the moment. You've got my um, desk that has got my other suitcase on it. You've got the dog bed. Uh, you've got the window and then you've got the door for the bathroom and the door for the wardrobe. And inside the wardrobe is already a nice big bag of dog food. So if I get hungry, nah, kidding. <laughs>